Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'd like to do a reveal of my Dooney and Burke items that I purchased during the Black Friday sales. I'd like to get through this kind of quickly because I'm sure my camera is about to die. So let's jump in. The first item that I picked up on Black Friday is actually an item that I bought off Poshmark. And I had been seeing this bag and I was curious about her and I found one that was fairly inexpensive and she is again have no idea what the official name of this bag is but this is an alto bag and it is in that um crocodile embossing light and the color is like a off white and it is a really large satchel i was actually shocked by the size of this it has pockets and I'm not going to even go through unbox, un, unbuckling this and going through it. But there's a nice little pocket on both ends of the bag. Uh, she does have feet on the bottom. She is very clean on the outside. She is not damaged in no way, shape, form, or fashion. Her edging is not cracked up. She has rolled handles and her zipper, uh, the flap of the zipper is attaches here. So it's a nice substantial zipper. It's still good. And uh, she is stuffed on the inside and I am not gonna remove her stuffing. She does not have a pocket on the front wall she is lined in red she has a notepad little note pad pocket here she has the alto card pocket here and she has a zipper pocket this is hmm is it on here uh no this is just a registration card uh, oh, there's a tag in here. There's a sticker here. This is the large, <laughs> hilarious. It says she is the large side pocket satchel. Okay. She is in very good condition for a secondhand bag. And she came to me at a great bargain. And I will definitely enjoy having her in my collection. Next are two items that I have already revealed on my channel, but I did purchase them during the Black Friday sales. This is my red Florentine Russell that I took with me when I went to the bucket list experience with my Dooney and Burke sisters, my tribe sisters. And every time I carry this bag, I have such fond memories of a great trip. Inside of her, I also have an item that I, we don't do the floor. I'm trying to figure out how to get this here. Okay. And this is my Pebble Leather Alice. I also bought Alice during the I Love Dooney Black Friday sale. She is Pebble Leather and she is in the color Caramel. Um, this is the cutest little duck sticker. I rarely get these when I order stuff, so 
I'm happy to have that little thing. This is the large Emily shoulder bag. Large Emily shoulder bag in the color Bordeaux. She is, yes, she is completely smooth all over. What the heck? A little feet. Oh, I love the sound of that. I love these shoulder straps. Um, definitely, she is a under the arm bag, but that is perfect for me. She's a keeper. And her dust bag. She is stuffed to hell. Not gonna do a full review, but she has a standard Dunia Burke setup. Slip pocket, she is lined in leather. She has collared with that green suede around the top. She has a zipper pocket on the back and it is lined with like a brown nylon really nice um she has two slip pockets you can see that it's two slip pockets yes oh yes she has something that is not even you know, but she does have a key keeper. I'm sure it has gunmetal hardware. Uh, yeah, gunmetal hardware. And this is my large Emily shoulder bag. I purchased this bag two days before the Black Friday sale began. I love Dooney had uh 40% off or something like that, some extra percentage. And I bought this bag. Two days later, the Black Friday sale, this bag was about $45 cheaper. So I politely called Dooney and Burke customer service to let them know that I would be returning the first bag, which I did. She is supposed to be like a dusty blue color, but there is nothing dusty about this bag. She's beautiful. She is a, this is the Raleigh, uh, Raleigh medium satchel. And this is my bag that I've been carrying. This is my denim Florentine satchel. And I, I'm not really sure what the difference is in these two bags. I, I am not sure at all. I don't even know if both of these bags are in the frame, but uh, definitely medium. Gonna move you out of the way. She, I'm not going through what, what she looks like on the inside. I will note that she has a dark stitching here where Florentine bags are stitched with gold there. Not sure if all of them, but this denim one is. That's a dark. Her tassels are wrapped. She's going to stay wrapped for a minute until I'm ready to carry her. But... This bag is buttery soft. I'm not sure. I'm not sure I've never had a Raleigh bag. So if I'm not sure, I don't even, I don't even know what the difference is in them, but I love her. This is the medium satchel Raleigh color is dusty blue and it's in perfect condition. This is my first 
Florentine Kingston Hobo. And <laughs> I am over the moon happy because this brown Timoro scratches, rub, rub right out. She has pockets there. She has like those blue jean front pockets here. Nice thick strap. You know, if everybody knows what the Kingston looks like. This bag is, oh my God. She is super, super smooth. Yes. Yes. She has these wonderful feet on the bottom. She is perfect. So glad. Yes. I love a hobo bag. And my first Florentine Kingston is in the color brown Timoral. And I have three other Kingston hobos, but they're the smooth leather from uh, the QVC um, special value or whatever last summer. I picked up three colors in that bag. And now they have a sister. So this completes my Black Friday haul. I like to ask that you comment, like, and subscribe to my channel if you like my videos. Um, that's about all I have. I may do reviews individually, but I just wanted to reveal my bags and get my bags logged and everything for um, insurance purposes. So, once again, thanks for watching. Bye.